In southwest Wisconsin, there's a song in the valley, in the hills, in the fields, and in the barnyard. Sometimes it's romantic and operatic, and other times it's patriotic. It always belongs to Bob Parrish, the singing farmer. More than 30 years ago, Parrish was on the verge of major stardom. He'd performed with Nelson Eddy in Chicago to an audience including Mayor Daley, and he had an invitation to Carnegie Hall. But the night before he was to leave for New York, his wife suddenly died. He chose to stay with his young children rather than to go singing. But caring for his children and his farm didn't stop his singing. In fact, he performed at fairs, conventions, and special local events. And every day, he would sing to his cattle. Over the years, his notoriety grew, and he was the subject of several TV stories, including one by Charles Kuralt. Is this a sad story? Mostly, no, it isn't. I love the farm. It's my way of life. Fame eluded him, but not success. In Stitcher, Wisconsin, Bob Parrish made a life for his family and filled that life with music. He is a success. And I'll soon give you 10,000 more. Not 10,000 more like Bob Parrish. Of this sort of stout-hearted man, there's only one. Now Bob's retired from dairy farming. He says he turned in his cows for a car, and he'll sing for anyone who wants to listen. He is Bob Parrish, the singing farmer. Please, if you would, sing us out for the remainder of the show. Bob Parrish, everybody. You belong to my heart, none forever. With a voice like Caruso and a spirit that never gives up, Bob Parrish is truly a man with a song in his heart. The stars, while a million guitars.